and today I want to teach you how to start sending API requests. So the first thing to understand about API requests is um, API stands for Application Programming Interface, if you are interested, but that you, you don't need any like real technical knowledge in order to do it. Um, I'm not a programmer. Um, I understand how everything comes together, but you don't need to be a developer in order to use APIs. Um, so here, like if you've seen my other videos building like crazy automations, um, like this one, like the only way this is possible, every time you see this blue thing, this is me sending an API request to a third party service. And particularly in like for marketers and founders, this completely like opens the doors in terms of, of, of what you're, you're able to do. Um, so if you're familiar with like Zapier or even like Integromat and like integrating all these different apps together, um, you realize how powerful like it actually becomes to be able to integrate all these things together but i'm sure you've had like a situation before where you realize that zapier is very expensive in order to do it or like there's something missing um like a particular piece of functionality or something like that when when you're integrating your own apis and when you understand like how to do that um it, it puts you in like complete control. For example, if I didn't understand how to do Zapier, uh, if I if I only knew how to do Zapier and I didn't understand APIs, there's no way I'd be able to put together something um, like this, even though I do use like native integrations. Um, so in this example, I'm just gonna go like very simply through how to set up um, a tool called Clearbit. Clearbit offer a number of, of different APIs for marketing. They have things like um, enriching a domain and getting like email addresses. Um, they have one for like mining leads um, based on criteria and they have one for like turning IP addresses into, it will tell you which company is linked to that IP address so you can reveal your anonymous um, website traffic. I'm going to start off with um, enrichment. And I have used this in the past. I've used it in a number of different automations. Um, so we are going to head, go ahead and do the API, REST API. Okay, so what we are going to do is we're gonna download, there are a number of different things that you can use for this. Postman or PAW, P-A-W, are two different tools. I actually use PAW because it's included in a subscription um, of about 100 different tools that I have. Um, but you can also use Postman, like really there's, there's not gonna be any difference. They're both exactly the same. Um, and this is going to let you start sending API requests. Um, so like, don't be scared off by the fact that you're not using code here. Um, essentially, all you're actually doing is copying and pasting pre-written code from documentation. So you shouldn't really have to write any code yourself. Um, in, like, I don't write any code myself. Um, and here are like a few examples of API integrations I have already. This, if I just press this refresh button, it's actually going to set up a new server for me. So I never have to log in and do anything and, and give the configuration, it's all done here. I can press this a hundred times in a minute and it will actually go and set up a hundred servers for me. Um, that's DigitalOcean's API. Um, this is for adding people into my email automation tool. So if I click refresh. Right, Airtable is required. Okay, I've changed the logic there. Um, right, there is, you can extract t people from different databases. Um, I can go and charge like some of my customers through APIs. Um, it's literally in infinite in terms of, um, of of what you can do with it. So if anyone involved in SaaS, digital, or particularly marketing, because that is where it gets really interesting, um, you, yeah, you, you should really like focus on getting an understanding of how to use APIs. Um, so I'm just gonna do this custom request. Um, so there are different types of API requests. Usually it is like a get request or a post request. Um, there's, there's no difference in terms of structure. Post usually means you're sending data over and get means you're pulling data from a service. Um, so what we need to do is they're telling us right here, this is what we need in our header section. We need to do a get request to here. And this is gonna have the email. And then uh, for authentication, 
there, it tells us exactly what they're doing. Requests are using basic authentication. So what we need to do is authentication, basic, username, And then if we go back into URL parameters and we put in, let's just do me as the test and see what data they have. That should be a successful request. Unknown person. Okay, so it has actually worked. Um, let's try, because this will actually work on, on a domain itself. So we can enrich an entire domain and get all the employees working there. Ah, wait, that's going to have to be changed. Domain, okay. So if you want to do a domain, it's as simple as just changing this parameter here to domain, and it will do it. Hmm. Ah, my... It's completely my fault. So if you want to do a, a domain, right, we're copying from here. Sorry, I <laughs> just embarrassed myself on a, on a video. Um, Stripe.com. Yeah, okay, so now it has returned us the description. It tells us when they're founded. Um, it's given us their actual logo. Uh, it's given us their Facebook, their LinkedIn, their Twitter. So that is that is like uh, it's just very interesting stuff to have. Um, so I'm going to now go and show you how we can add this into a automation. We're going to build a really quick Integromat automation just to show you how like simple it is to get started with APIs. And once you understand this like first part of it, you're literally um you're literally going to be good to go um so just like for the sake of it um i'm just going to make a new air table really quickly template and I'm just going to give um, so we can get uh, I, I can't I need some some more domains. Um, <laughs> um, Okay, so these are just some, some domains. Um, so let's say like, oh, this is gonna work better if we had like thousands, but let's just say we want their, um, we want their Facebook, we want their Twitter, we want their Instagram, and we want their image, we want their description from their website, and uh, that's, that's enough for now. So let's just, and let's get let's get an image okay so now what we can do is come down to I call it template YouTube template YouTube okay yeah so like I said you don't need to be like a programmer now with tools like Integromat we're able to um, we're, we're able to just build this ourselves without writing code um, it's, yeah which makes it much better so let's go ahead and refresh make the field name 
last few grid. And let's just start off with one record. And then what we're going to do is the tool that I just showed you before, just that we made that request with, was called Haw. And all that's doing is sending something called an HTTP request. So we can copy the exact format that we had over here. We want to do companies find. And in fact, we can actually make it even more simple. We can copy directly from here. Come, and at the end, we just want to paste the name of the company that we have. And then under advanced settings, username here it says basic authentication like it's very easy to match up sometimes people are using different terms for these but um really it's just it's, it's very like simple and straightforward uh and then the only important thing is you're going to want to click this which says pass response save that and then we actually want to update Airtable. So we're going to update all of these domains with all of the data that we can find via this API. So this is just one very like quick example that I'll put together. Um, template YouTube. Let's tell it which ID to look up. I'm just going to run a quick test. successful so now we need to tell this last part of the sequence um, that we want this data sent over from clearbit so clearbit is telling us um, all of the data that we need so here we have the description which we wanted we have uh, we haven't got an Instagram actually but we have a Facebook and we have a LinkedIn And we have an image and like you can see all this other data here it actually tells you the technologies they have installed on the website um, it can tell you it's got their phone number it's got their Alexa rank it tells you how much capital they've raised it tells you how many employees they have like there's just ridiculous amounts of information here um, yeah, you're more than welcome to go through it. Um, I'm just setting this up for a demonstration. They've got email addresses as well for people working there. Um, yeah, there's, there's, there's so much interesting information. Um, so anyway, and now that is done, what I'm going to do is that is now integrated. And if I go ahead and set this up to process all of the records so just imagine if you had like 50,000 domains here which like I'm this is the exact type of scenarios that I'm running um, I, I'm just in mass enriching websites um, if you had 50,000 domains you could do it manually or you could just do this like it's taken us would be five minutes to set this up and if we watch here yeah it's just adding in all of this data um, just so quickly and yeah uh, so what this actually what we need to do here is it doesn't return a url anymore which is interesting so if we do formula concatenate uh, we want Uh, I can't do it in the same tab. Anyway, or like all you need to do is put LinkedIn.com before this and add the link. Same with here. Um, you would just put Facebook at the front of it. It's also given us all of the logos. So if you want to see how they look, maybe there is a way to preview them in Airtable. I'm not sure. Look, we've got Stripe logo. We've got CNN logo. Um, this works on, on anything. We've got Notifier logo. Yeah. So you see how, how cool that is. So just like for getting started with that like for example we can also do um uh like if you want to move like snov.io 
um, this will return like email. Clearbit actually returned us email addresses as well, and I didn't save them to be fair. But um, you could also use something like snov.io and then going back into our automation. If an email address is returned, we could then go and add Gmail, send an email, and immediately you can just add in the email address of whoever you, you found and, and go and send an email to them. Now you saw how quickly we processed all of these records. So building an automation to go and reach out to tens of thousands of people, we can literally do it in, in 10 minutes. Um, it's only when we add in like LinkedIn and um, things like that, that it takes a bit longer. If you are interested in places to find good APIs, here are uh, for, for marketing and growth in particular. Um, Phantom Buster, I think everyone knows, like I'm a big fan of, um, aside from the customer support, the service itself is actually, is really good. Um, so they have tools for like all different social media platforms for building any type of automation you want. Um, if you're also interested in other more like hacky tools, you can find like, these have all sorts of things like Instagram scrapers, Google search scrapers, Google also have APIs for all of their tools naturally. So if you want to go and scrape Google search, um, you can just go and Google Google search APIs. If you want uh, to scrape Google Maps, Google Images, Google Analytics, anything that you want, they've provided all of this stuff already. Um, here we've got like YouTube scrapers, Instagram scrapers, Twitter, Amazon, Airbnb, send emails. Um, like literally the world is your oyster. You can also go on GitHub and you can look for like APIs, like marketing based APIs. You can also use something like built with, um, which will tell you all of the technologies that a particular website has installed on it. Uh, again, this really like interesting stuff for, for marketing. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think like I'll leave the video there like, and, and leave you to go and play around with your APIs. Like what you'll find is that, um, like API is really just like all I did was copy and paste this stuff over. You may find some APIs want you to put something in the body. And in, in that case, it's just a case of pasting it into the body. It will usually be in like, a, it will always be in JSON format actually. Um, so I've tried to like keep this as simple as possible. I didn't want to go too far and like in depth. Like here's an example of like a JSON API. We just put this in, into the body and we give them all the information. Um, and then you're telling that platform, I want you to do this. Um, but yeah, I tried to keep this video quite like short and simple. I didn't want to over get over like tech, too technical with it to like scare everyone off. Um, so yeah, I hope, I hope it made sense. Of course, if you have any questions um, or anything, yeah, anything else I can help with, um, feel free to leave a comment and I'll be, yeah, I'll be happy to help. Um, other than that, please, uh, yeah, leave a like, um, comment if you're interested in like marketing automation and growth videos, and yeah, feel free to check out my my other videos, um, because that's pretty much all, all, all that I do, um, technical marketing. So um, yeah, thank you very much, and have a great day.